Okay, guys, this is crazy. We got some new information this afternoon, like just a few hours ago. The Habersham County Sheriff's Office released this surveillance video from the Family Dollar. And in this video, you can see Debbie Collier. She enters the store, and it's around 2.55 p.m., and that's Saturday, September the 10th. She was dressed in like a red jersey. To me, it looks like an Alabama jersey. And shorts, and she was wearing a sun visor. She was in the store about 15 minutes. And then when she gets to the register, she purchases a red tote bag, a blue tarp, a refillable torch lighter, two roll pack of paper towels, and a rain poncho. Ironically, every one of these items were found at the crime scene location where her remains were found. After she makes her purchase, you can see her leaving the store at 3.09 p.m. Now, this Family Dollar store is in Clayton, Georgia. More video footage was obtained from the store and even surrounding the businesses around it. And they show that Debbie was alone in the van at the time. After eight minutes after she left, her daughter, Amanda, said she received the money and the chilling message from her mother. Amanda said she received this message at 3.17 p.m. on September the 10th. Where her body was found was about 13 miles south of where she went shopping. Time of death can now be narrowed down just a bit more. From 3.09 p.m. on September the 10th when she was seen leaving this store and when her body was found at 12.44 p.m. on Sunday, the very next day, September the 11th. And the investigation was even narrowed down further than that because last week, detectives did announce that there is absolutely no evidence to suggest that Debbie harmed herself or that a kidnapping was involved. Now think about that a minute. Investigators also did interviews with the store clerk at Family Dollar and of course reviewed the store camera footage. These interviews with the store clerk as well as investigators looking at the camera footage, they were also able to rule out information that they had received that Amanda was at the same store and Clayton as her mom. Amanda and Steve, Debbie's husband, filed a missing persons report at 6.01 p.m. on September the 10th. And this is roughly three hours after Amanda had received that Venmo payment and that message from her mother. The state medical examiner's office was to conduct an autopsy to determine the cause and manner of Debbie's death. Okay, let's have a look at this together. And if there's anything that you catch, please leave it in the comments below. Okay, immediately right off the top, she's got her purse. The crime scene, her purse was not found. It's not been said that her purse was in her vehicle either. Red tote bag. That was found at the crime scene. As you see, there is two rolls of paper towels. There was also paper towels found at the crime scene. Why would she be buying this? They're calling it a tote bag. I call it a party bag, like a birthday gift bag, right? Why would she be buying this if she was taking this stuff home? Why wouldn't she just have it put in a regular grocery bag? Now, did you notice that she reached into her purse to get her car to a way to pay the cashier? And then she was like, it wasn't there. So she reached over inside like her pocket and pulled out her car. She puts everything she purchases into this red bag. She takes out no store bags. It's Everything's in this one bag, which leads me to believe that she was possibly picking these items up for someone else 
to bring it to them. It looks like if she was getting them to bring them home, she would have just got store bags, right? And a lot of people's going to say, no, I hate store bags. Well, if that's the case, then you would have already purchased the refillable, reusable store bags. No, she actually bought this party bag or tote bag, whatever you want to call it. I do not believe she bought these items for herself. I believe she was picking them up to take to someone else. But watch with her debit card. She goes to get it out of her purse, and it seems like it's not there, and she reaches into her front pocket. She returns her debit card, credit card, whatever it is, back into her front right pocket. She doesn't put it into her purse. We also know that earlier in the investigation, the boyfriend did say Debbie had brought him and Amanda dinner friday and saturday right both days her body and remains were found 13 miles south away from this store she did not return her debit card to her purse hers has not been found her clothes have not been found her shoes despise her but everything in that bag she's holding as well as the bag itself, was all at the crime scene. I believe she was picking these items up for someone else. After she walked out of this store, Amanda received this Venmo and that message. They're not going to let me go. Everyone that was spoke to, as well as all of the surveillance that was watched in this footage, said that she did not appear a one bit nervous, worried, anxious, nothing even got surveillance footage from the outside of the store did not show that there was anyone with her at the time when did she bring the daughter and the boyfriend lunch and that's the last time they had seen her let me know what you think below thank you so much for listening and until next time this is unjustified thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe like Share and leave us a comment below on your thoughts of this video. And until next time, this is Unjust.